Okay. <clears throat> so, um, for this particular portrait, I'm trying to keep it kind of simple. I have a nice reference photo you can see here. You want to be able to see the difference between all the lights and darks. And I'll try to describe a little bit as I go. So, you know, this video might help you if you're a painter, but it also might help you if you just want to learn to draw. Or, you know, if you just find me soothing. I like texture. I always start with the darks. Let's see. There's the top of the head about right here. head is like a, a perfect sphere and you just slice it in half and the mouth works kind of like on a hinge mechanism like taking a slice out of an orange hair placement Bloop. and I'm just really generally gonna block in where the nose and the eyes are gonna be So that's it's looking pretty good so far. I think I've got all the main stuff. You know, you don't want to try to be overly perfectionistic about it at this point. Little eyebrow there, on point. I love your face. She's looking good. Nice. All right. I'm also going to go ahead and throw in my background color. I want to wait on that because the edges, the edges of a portrait painting are so important. And you can't blend wet paint into nothing. Now the eyes are very important. Windows to the soul. Eyes are like half spheres that just sit right there, right on top of the face kind of bulgy. Didn't really mean to make that mark. This is hard. Do you ever just feel like some days like you're not the one, the one in control? One control. Slow down a little bit. She's looking good. Look at you. You look good. Where are you from? You sexy bird. I believe in makeup. As I get more toward the end of a portrait, I'm going to naturally become a little more careful, a little slow. Now when you paint lips, you want to make your brush strokes go in the direction of the form. There's a band of light in the center and a darkness behind that. You really wanna pay attention to these things. The highlights really make it pop out. It's, it's almost as if there were stitches around the lip. Oops. Looking good. Yes. Done. With your face. Time for some big highlights. Man, I love this brush. I just got these brushes in the mail yesterday. Shout out to Trakel. Endorsement. Oh, 
cleaned off my brush and just gonna get some refinement here. They're so cute. Skin is so difficult determining what values to use in the skin. Now my skin's got a peach tint, but say you have green skin, you would want to approach that a totally different way. your cute little nose. Sometimes a well-placed dread will hide a multitude of paint sins. She's not perfect, but you know, you gotta call it finished sometime and um, you're finished. I love your face.